Hey guys, in today's video, let's look at how to create a one-to-many relationship between two tables in Access. Yeah, so here I have an orders table and a customers table, and I want one customer to be able to have many orders, uh, but one order can only have a single customer. So this is a one-to-many relationship, and uh, it will be linked by the customer ID that's going to be in both the customers table uh, as well as the uh, orders table. So let's go to access and see how you can create that. And uh, here you can see I have two tables, customers and orders, uh, like the schema I showed in uh, PowerPoint earlier. Right, so, when, so what you should do is you should go to your database tools and then um, now go to relationship relationships over here and here you can see uh, the two tables and uh, as well as the fields and you can see over here in customers the primary key is customer id and orders the primary key is order id and at the moment they're not linked yet okay so go to uh, edit relationships and uh, Again, before you start, I should uh, mention, please close any uh, open tables that you have or you will not be able to create the relationship uh, later. So, okay. So now let's uh, create a new relationship. And uh, typically the, the side with the uh, one would be on the left. So in this case, uh, customer ID customers will have the one side of the relationship and then the many side of the relationship goes on the right and then you, uh, so now you want to link the fields together uh, in this case the customer ID from our customers table should be the customer ID in our orders table press OK uh, OK and then now you're going to come to some options. So uh, let me just explain uh, what they are. So enforce referential integrity. Uh, usually we want this. Uh, so what this will do is uh, when you create a new order, it will check the customer ID uh, and make sure that it exists in the customers table. Uh, cascade update and cascade delete. So what these to do is um, it, it can be quite useful so if you were to say uh, update your customer ID uh, in your customers table you then don't need to make the related changes in your orders table so if you have a customer ID 1 that later on you change him to customer ID 75 so if you don't have this tick you would have to then go and uh, manually update all your orders with customer ID 1 to 75. But if you have it ticked, then uh, it will automatically do that for you. Uh, and then cascade delete. So if you were to have customer ID 1 and he has like 10 orders and you delete this customer, what then happens is uh, if you have cascade delete uh, selected, then all your related uh, records related to this customer will also get deleted. Uh, this this can be useful or you might want to still keep your orders even from deleted customers. So uh, delete, you have to think whether you would want to, to keep that uh, checked or not. Uh, typically I do keep it checked but it might depend on your scenario. So once you're done, uh, then just go click create here. And you can see that this new relationship is formed. And you can see it's, there's a one customer can have an infinite number of orders here. And it's linked by customer ID in uh, the two tables. So if you want to delete this uh, relationship, just click on it. Uh, right click and then you can press delete. And then they'll ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete the relationship? and then just say yes and so now the tables are, uh, are 
unlinked again. Okay, hope you guys found this useful and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video probably to, to show you guys how you can do this via SQL uh, as well.